For more on the lawsuit involving Crystal McGee and Snapchat, we turn to defense attorney Randy Zellin. Randy, thanks for coming in. Um, we all know teens do stupid things, but from a, a legal perspective, how much of a factor is a teenager's developing sense of judgment in this case, do you think? Well, I think if you look from purely a physiological standpoint, the studies show that a teenager's brain does not start to look like an adult brain until the teen is actually in his or her 20s. So start and stop right there. Hmm. It, it, it's just it, it's just not going to be there and I think I'm probably a living testament to that though I may have only fully formed maybe a week or two ago <laughs> but but certainly I mean every sign is there this just doesn't make any sense yeah the uh, the lawsuit alleges that snapchat was aware that this particular app has caused problems in the past with uh, drivers trying to see how fast they can log themselves when they do a snapchat and it says 100 miles an hour or in this case 115 miles an hour um, do you think though that that is going to be a strong argument in this particular case, that that, that that is why Snapchat is in fact culpable in this case. One of the hallmarks of any civil litigation, when you are trying to impose liability on someone, notice oftentimes become criti becomes critical because the defense always says, well, wait a minute, I couldn't have done anything about it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about it. Certainly from the moment that Snapchat is on notice that this app, this whatever lens, whatever you want to call it, is strictly and solely used to allow someone to determine and post how fast he or she is going mm -hmm. during the Snapchat. I have racked my brain, asked a few of my kids, what godly reason could there be to have this other than to be able to tell the world I'm going 107 miles an hour while I'm doing this Snapchat and we couldn't come up with any reason so certainly the moment that the issue exists for someone else Snapchat is on notice I mean mm. common sense brains and and good judgment would dictate I don't really see any utility for this other than to get kids and maybe even adults into a lot of trouble. But there's a long history of product safety, liability, lawsuits. Uh, car companies have been sued when people misuse their vehicle and they say, well, we can't help it if they misuse it. We, uh, there was nothing defective in our car. As far as we can tell, there's nothing defective in this app. It's doing exactly what it was designed to do. So you're saying that their argument is, well, yes, but what it was, was designed to, to do is inherently dangerous. I couldn't have said it any better. I need someone to tell me what utility this Snapchat mm -hmm. thing has other than to brag about how fast I am going right. while I am doing my Snapchatting. If someone can do that, I'd love to hear it. I can think of no other reason other than to say, I'm going 107, I'm going 90, I'm going 80, whatever it is. I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Well, and also it happens to be involving something else that's inherently dangerous, which is being a distracted driver, 